Hello people of VNet, what's going on? I am the Matty Boyo 2. Welcome back to another video. This is my first proper FIFA 18 video. Uh, the full game's been out uh, for a little while now, a couple of days. Um, and this is the first real opportunity I've had to bring you a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, this is the team that I am using right now. It costs about 100k. Uh, it's brilliant for squad battles. I think I'm currently Elite 3, almost Elite 2, uh, which isn't bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. Playing on either World Class or Legendary. Um, it's also great for foot champs. Um, you can see there, I've got so many coins right now. I've basically been doing a load of SBCs. Um, I'd recommend doing the advanced ones, the Hybrid Leagues and Hybrid Nations. They're the two main ones I've done. And I did manage to pack myself some insane players. I got a team of Werner. I got one Swatch Murata who sold for about 300k. Which was mental. So I am in a very good position right now. Anyway, here is the team. The formation I am using is 4-3-2-1. Tried and trusted for many years. And it's still probably my favourite formation on the game. In net, I have gone with Inform Adan. I'm not sure how much he is now, but I managed to get him as soon as he came out for 11.5k. That is an insane price. Uh, I don't know how um, how good he is compared to other keepers. He's really the only one I've used. Um, but he is incredible. Some of the saves he pulls off are insane. Uh, ones on ones. I, I trust him so much. He saves way more than he concedes, especially one on one. He uh, is incredible. At right back have gone with the cheap beast Michel Macedo uh, very very nice card I couldn't really decide between him and Mario Gaspar but I decided to go with Macedo he's a bit cheaper uh, and he is lightning quick the rest of his stats aren't as good as um, Gaspar's but on the ball he feels absolutely incredible and I'm very very happy with uh, with paying 1.8k for him First centre back is Gerard Piquet. I, uh, I did stream the other day a massive pack opening. Uh, I stored everything in my club. Uh, I didn't get anything then, but then I opened two 7.5k packs as soon as I ended the stream. I managed to pull this guy and uh, one of my centre mid who you will see. Jaime Eden work rates aren't great, but he's got a very, very good card. For centre back, it's all rounded. Pace and physical are a bit lower than I'd like. But I put an anchor card on there. He doesn't feel that slow at all. He can keep up with most strikers. And he feels really strong now. Especially with that anchor card. He's six foot four. He's a giant. He wins every single header. And from corners. Especially when he's on the front post. He is lethal. The second centre back I've gone with. Is actually a silver. And he goes by the name of Remy. Oh, this guy. If you guys remember FIFA 15, I believe, uh, Antonio Rudiger when he was a silver centre-back for Stuttgart. I think this guy is going to be my Rudiger this year. A silver centre-back that gets into even my best teams full of icons or whatever, hopefully one day. Six foot tall. He's pretty tall, not the tallest. Medium, medium work rates. Medium high would be better, but again, not bad. 74 pace. Very, very playable. 67 defending a bit on the low side, but I have whacked a shadow card on there. On 83 physical, he is hench. Um, you can just look at his stats there. Um, for you know, you could get sort of like an 84 rated gold centre back, and those stats will be good. I believe with a shadow card, he goes up to 86 pace, um, and something like. 81 defending so his card is absolutely insane then at left back i have gone with the perfect link with rusion used this guy a lot last year when he was a silver uh really really good card high high work rates perfect for fullback 86 pace he is rapid good dribbling defending physical and passing a really really well balanced card and he feels insane um I loved him last year and this year he is 10 times better. If you guys need a cheap left back, I'd highly recommend going with him. 
The first centre mid we are going with is, as I mentioned, the second player I packed, Marco Verratti. Again, very, very good player in game. High, high work rates, four star weak foot, really good. Three star skill moves isn't the best. Uh, he doesn't have the best card, to be honest. Dribbling and passing are obviously insane. Defending is good. But his pace, shooting and physical, I'm not going to lie, they're, they're all terrible. But he doesn't feel like that in game at all. And you could put a chemistry style on there. Uh, I was thinking about putting a hawk on him. But I uh, I didn't do it in the end. 5-5 five, five as well. He's on the short side. But in game, he feels so nimble. He can get past players so easily. His shooting isn't the best, so I wouldn't take any shots with him. But he can play those clinical through balls. And create chances for you all day long. Central centre mid, I have decided to go with is... Where is he? The non-rare Adrian Rabio. Really, really, really good card. Didn't use him at all last year, um, but his card this year is much better. High medium work rates, 6-2. Um, Every start above 70, a really, really well-rounded card. You can see there from central centre mid in 25 games, he's got six goal contribution contributions, which isn't bad at all for 1.1k. Obviously, I am gonna uh, I'm gonna upgrade some of these. If my Tweedy was still at PSG, I'd definitely go with him there. But uh, Rabio does the job, and he does feel really, really good. One thing I would recommend is try long shots with him. I've scored some absolutely incredible long shots with him, and I mean from like 30, 35 yards away, and they go top bins every time. They are unreal. The final centre mid is Andres Guardado. I only just put this guy in the team. I did change it, but in the two games I've played with it since I changed it, he's got one goal and one assist from centre mid. That is incredible. Again, a well-balanced card. Not the best you can get, but for how much he costs really really good and definitely worth the coins uh, a cheap beast for uh, for La Liga Santander if you are looking for that central midfielder at right forward I have gone with the, uh, the strong link to Guardado obviously and that is Carlos Vea a good card, good pace, good dribbling decent enough shooting, physical doesn't really matter for a, uh, a winger, but one thing I don't like about him is his weak foot. You can see there, he's left footed and got two star weak foot. That means you can't really do low driven uh, cross body shots with him because he will drag him. His right foot isn't great, so you do have to cut in and finesse it. But in two games, he's got five goal contributions against... Uh, it was in squad battles actually I played the last two games, both on legendary. And for him to get five goal contributions is unreal. He's, uh, he's not that short for a, for a winger. Most of them are a lot shorter. High low work rates are great. Um, and he, just look at that. Look at all the green in the uh, the four attacking um, categories. Really, really good card. And I have loved using him. At left forward, I have gone with Dimitri Paye. Again, someone I packed, and I was a bit concerned when I saw that he was a, uh, a left winger again. He doesn't have the pace, but it doesn't matter. Whack a hawk card on there, and he is unreal. Like they are high low work rates, four star weak foot, four star skill moves. So, the differences between Paye and Veya, you can shoot uh, low driven cross body with Paye because he does have a good weak foot. Uh, when I first built a team, I changed to a 4-3-1-2 in-game and put Paya Cam. But now I leave him at left forward and I've put the Hawk card on him. And he feels rapid, to be honest. 36 goal contributions in 25 games is unbelievable. And just look at those stats. Strength is a bit low, but again, the Hawk card corrects that. Stamina isn't the best, but you don't really notice it in-game. Agility and balance... Are a bit low compared to what I would like for a left forward but again it really doesn't matter he feels great on the ball and his long shots and finesse shots are incredible and then to finish off the team we do have Kevin Gamero someone who I have wanted to use since I first saw his card again I have only just packed so I've only used him for two games prior to this 
Um, this was the setup I was running with uh, Ed Air, Berardi, and um, Rafinha there. So everyone was on full came in that setup, but uh, this feels much better to be honest, guys. Ed Air as well was incredible. Uh, you can see from his uh, goals to game ratio. But Kevin Gamero is averaging three goal contributions a game right now. Medium, medium work rates aren't the best, but not bad. Ideally would have four star, four star or five star, five star weak foot skill moves. But three star, three star is definitely manageable. He's had a huge, huge pace upgrade and he feels lightning quick now. Shooting is clinical. I don't think I've missed a shot with him yet. Dribbling isn't the best, but I put the marksman card on there to help improve that. And he's a bit on the weak side, but again, the marksman card does help with that. Only 5 foot 8, but he wins headers for days. I'm not sure what his jumping is. 84 jumping. With marksman, that will go up, I believe. Um, so his jumping is brilliant. He scored, I think, two headers from crosses. Uh, one from a cross, one from a corner. And he, he just... Right now, he's definitely uh, my favourite player in this team. He's the best player I've used so far, I feel like. Um, so, if you guys can afford to pay 15k for a Kevin Gamero, I'd highly, highly recommend it. Custom Tactics. I have semi-copied the ones that I used last year, and they feel great again. Uh, I didn't want to experiment too much uh, to start with. I wanted to sort of find what I feel comfortable with. And I feel really, really comfortable with this, guys. It feels brilliant. So if you want to pause here, copy these, go for it. And then in terms of player instructions, uh, the attacking trio, I put stay central, get behind, and press back line on all of them. I set Rabio to stay back while attacking. And last year, I would have set the fullbacks to stay back while attacking. But this year, because crossing is so OP, and I'm so happy with these fullbacks, I just leave them as they are. Anyway, guys, that is it. Let me know if you guys do try this team or if you've got any improvements for me. I am looking to improve it, so do let me know in the comment section down below. Also, real quick, I do have a new Instagram account. The link will be down in the description. Uh, it's not going to be a, like a personal account. It's going to be just for the channel, just for FIFA content. Uh, so if there are any new cars released or upgrades, you will be able to see straight away on there so i'd highly recommend that you go and follow it if you are interested in the channel or the game and once again thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't done so already we are about to smash 600 subscribers which is mad the support recently has been unreal and yeah thanks for watching you guys are the best